He's cold out. With a single on deadlifts. At an eight, we did seven, like 33 last week. But, change of plans. So we'll see what happens. Honestly, I feel a lot better than I did on Monday. Because Saturday's workout, SBD, I had back downs. And I had five sets of four, which typically, I have, I have a four by four after my single on squats. But with that extra set, it made all the difference because I was fine with the five five sets of four. I was, all, I was fine all the way up to the fourth set. And then after I had to do my fifth set, I was just tanked. Like my back was just tanked. I was dead, right? So my lower back was just sore for the last, since, you know, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Tuesday was fine, it was, you know, 80%. Now it's 100% where I'm not sore. And we have deadlifts. And it's a single at an eight. We'll see what happens. I, I took a couple uh, Grill Mine Shroom, a couple Grill Mine Rush. I have some Grill Mine pre-workout in here. Uh, pre-workout Pop-Tart. And we're just gonna kinda go with the flow, you know. I'm not too aimed at a number as I am aimed at how it feels because I really want to make sure everything clicks because for you guys who don't know, we are six weeks out. So we want to make sure everything is good or as good as it can be at this moment so it can be great at the moment we need to be in the future, which is in six weeks. So we're going to kind of just work it out, you know? And if we hit a surprisingly good number, it's going to be it will make one good of a hell, a hell of a good YouTube video. All right, well, we got one bad news bear. As soon as I put my headphones on, I'm like, oh, hey, I should check what battery they're at. Low battery. So we just need these, th these headphones to last. Just last for this heavy single. Back downs, I don't care. We just need this to last for this heavy single. So come on, God, let's have these headphones go. So we got some bench going on. We got two, heavy two. Deadlifts weren't as bad. We did 650, which is cool. A lot better than we did last time on our RP8. Like we did the same weight. I think we had five pounds less, but it moved way faster than it did last week. I mean, not last week, last block. So that's great. Um, Sean's like, we should be pulling 771 in comp, which is cool, but I feel like it's just so fucking low compared to my last comp, because last comp I did 661. I can only do 10 pounds more, I just feels weird. But like, I guess that's kind of what happens. But um, I'm gonna work on opening up a little bit more with my hips because I'm so not used to deadlift slippers where my feet positioning's always off. You know, because I can never get the feel down. I do have, um, uh, they're called barefoot shoes coming from the company. They wanted to 
send it out to me. Maybe that's going to be like a different feel. But um, as of right now, I'm using these like knockoff Notorious Lifts. They're called Max 2s or whatever. Just because they want to send me a pair and they're black. And I didn't want to wear those bright uh, blue slash neon Notorious Lift things. But yeah, we're back on the comp bench, which is, which is groovy, you know. But um, I'm getting used to it. Just a little bit. So. That's great. A lot of people are probably like, Sawyer, why are you doing that exercise, right? Well, I'm supposed to have neutral grip, you know, dumbbell presses, but we only have dumbbells up to 60 pounds. It's not enough for me to get anything close to either a contraction or a pressing movement, right? So we have this one, which is somewhat of an isolateral, not lateral, ISO machine, uh, chest machine, ISO chest machine. So what I've been doing is gripping it in a neutral position, right? And it's kind of nice because this is a wider one and I get a full stretch in my pec, right? Which is nice because I'm also on a wider benching pre pre pressing movement. So I've been doing these and I feel like I've been getting actually a lot more progress with this than the 60 pounds because 60 pounds I just wasn't getting any progress in. It like doesn't even matter, right? So this one I can load it up, it's a little bit heavier and I'm kind of in this just position. And I get a gnarly chest pump. So, I mean, until Sean tells me don't do that exercise, I'm gonna keep doing it because I feel like it's helping. It's definitely feeling like my lockout's cleaner and I just haven't had a problem with it until I have like some kind of problem where like I feel like I'm getting injured or something. I'm not gonna change it because I've been already doing that. Uh, you know, because bef before I was doing the dumbbell thing, I was doing it where um, I had to put weights on my back and just do push-ups. But it was getting so difficult to get more than two 245s on my back unless I had somebody there. And usually when I'm here, nobody's here. So, I mean, I've had to figure out what's an exercise that I could do that would mainly focus on the same muscle because I'm trying to target. And this one's been pretty good for the most part. I have no complaints. So.